Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. And when I seen this story, I immediately thought this is perfect for y'all to get a grasp of, gang, because you do shit in the, the spur of the moment. You do shit for your gang. You do shit because you think it's right. But then when you get in them sales, you realize the life you was living on the streets, you can't live in these motherfucking confined ass sales. So this paperwork right here on your screen uh, I don't know why they just keep leaking Rondo shit It's a million niggas from the rack that rap That's drill superstars or whatever They just keep coming from Rondo And I be feeling bad game Because as a media personality Us reporting on it Is kind of dim- tarnishing his image But you're going to get the grip at the end of it So this paperwork right here Is pretty much uh, the CEOs reporting how Clint Massey refused to go to lock up Saying how he want to go back to Division 9 And how he's not going to his cell So they removed him and put him in the rec room And right here, this is the second part of that paperwork Which I know y'all seen already Him refusing um, to go to lock up And it wasn't just because he wanted to go back On a different deck with his guys and shit like that It was actually the family of Javon Boyd The cab driver who was in that motherfucker Putting threats on his life I don't know the extent of the threats Because when you in the county like What the motherfucker gonna say You come on this bitch we gonna shank you We gonna shit you down boy So you feel me Rondo probably like what's the worst that could happen You gonna get jumped But Rondo got the clout man And I I know a few people Who got locked up with Rondo And they was dick riding him Like soon as he Say knew it was Rondo (sighs) See I gotta be careful what I say Just know they knew it was Rondo, so they was riding for him. So the fact that Rondo was scared in that bitch shows me one thing, and it's nothing against Rondo. This is just a lesson to be learned from all y'all watching this video, is that every shooter don't got hands. Because when a nigga got hands, and I'm just throwing this name out there, don't get in the comments tweaking, but Vaughn got them bitches. I seen Vaughn remove himself off deck with some, you know, with that the homophil- with the homophilia or homosexual shit he said. But at the end of the day, Vaughn could fight, regardless if he died fighting or not. But when you see people who constantly, like, and this nothing against Rondo, but L.A. Killers is right there in his face. My boy ain't bug up, he ain't do too much shit. I'm just putting myself in his shoes, like, if a nigga kill my homie or my family member, gang, like, I don't give a fuck if we fought ten times already, bro. Like, we got to get it in, gang. Like, it can't be peace. And this just led to me to believe what Tay 600 said was true. No knock on Rondo, but some people are better shooters than they are fighters because... You killed somebody. You took somebody off this earth, regardless if he was connected to the murder or not. So you was willing to do the time for that crime. But now you run into his family. You ain't ready to throw down for that shit. So my message I want to leave with y'all, leave that shit alone, gang. If you can't fight and all you can do is shoot, accept that. It ain't no purpose for you to be trying to go in jail. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.